Ninja AF500 Flex Drawer has been around since July 2023. It's a single drawer air fryer with a divider and two separate heating zones. The idea is that it can give you the capacity of a big drawer air fryer, but the flexibility of two drawers. Ever since I did my comparison video between the Ninja Dual Zone and the Ninja Dual Zone Max, people have been asking my opinion of the Flex Draw. So in this video, you will find out whether it really can deliver two different temperature zones with just a removable sheet of metal to divide them, and how practical it is to live with and cook with. So first of all, this air fryer has a little bit of an identity crisis. This model is called the Flex Draw, but due to the fact that it has the word Megazone printed on the front, bang in the middle, you'll also hear people referring to it as that. But they are the same air fryer, and I'll get on to exactly what that Megazone bit refers to in a minute. The Flex Draw is the big brother of the AF400 Dual Zone Max. Its capacity is just under a litre bigger, but it's not noticeably larger when you see the two side by side on the worktop. The Flex Draw has the same settings that you'll see on the other two Ninja Dual Draw models, but with the bonus of an additional proof setting, which you can set for between 35 and 75 degrees, and from 45 minutes to 4 hours. There are also some slight variations in the temperature ranges on the Flex Draw compared to the other two models. Most notably, Max Crisp has a fixed temperature of 240 Celsius, whereas on the earlier models there was some rather pointless temperature overlap with the air fry setting. Now, of course, the standout feature of the Flex Draw is its removable divider, which promises to keep temperatures in the two halves of the drawer separate. This was the thing I was most curious about with this model. This divider is only a small sheet of metal that slots into the drawer, and I wanted to see if it could really keep the two cooking zones at distinctly different temperatures. So it was time to do some tests in my kitchen. First, I put the left-hand side of the drawer on roast at 190 Celsius and left the right-hand side empty with an oven thermometer in it. After 10 minutes, I checked the temperature of the empty right-hand side and it had reached 80 Celsius. So I continued to run the left-hand side on roast for another five minutes, by which time the right-hand side had reached 95 Celsius. Now, after those slightly disappointing results, I wanted to give Ninja the benefit of the doubt, and I accepted that really to do a proper test, I should run both drawers at different temperatures so I could give the air fryer a fighting chance to be actively trying to control the temperature of each zone. I didn't pick extremes, instead I chose bake at 160 on the left-hand side and prove at 75 Celsius on the right-hand side. And after 10 minutes, the right-hand side, which I'd set at 75 Celsius, was already nearly 50% over temperature at 110 Celsius. But then this got me thinking, is the Dual Zone Max actually any better? So as a final test, I got out my two-drawer AF400 to see how much heat bleed you get with two entirely separate drawers. When the left-hand drawer was put on roast at 190, after 10 minutes, the right-hand drawer temperature barely registered on the thermometer, and the crisper plate was cool enough to touch. And when I put the left drawer on bake at 160 and the right on dehydrate at 70 Celsius, after 10 minutes, the right-hand drawer was measuring exactly the right temperature, which of course is the result that you want. So the drawer divider tests prove what I had sadly suspected about this air fryer, which is that the divider is only useful if you want to cook two foods at fairly similar temperatures next to each other, and it's no substitute for actually having two separate drawers. The Flex Drawer is very much a single drawer air fryer first, not a true dual drawer. In fact, it's interesting to see that Ninja advertised the Flex Drawer with an image of two dishes being cooked at temperatures that are only 20 degrees apart. If you want to have half of the flex drawer running at a dehydrate temperature and the other half running at air fryer temperature, it just isn't going to work as you hope it would. 
So let's go back to the divider. The good news is it's really easy to pop in and out and really easy to clean. However, it is quite small. So if your kitchen is slightly chaotic, like most family homes, there's a chance that this being a removable part means that it may at some point get mislaid. It's happened to us and we've only had this for a couple of weeks. It's easy for it to be scooped up with other things from the worktop and it's easy for it to disappear under something or even get trapped inside a recipe book. I think it's a real shame that there isn't some sort of dedicated holder on the side or at the bottom of the air fryer so that you can slot it into that. They do have something similar for the temperature probe that you have on some other models. Something else worth considering, the base of this drawer in the flex drawer isn't flat. So if you want to remove the crisper plates and put a large dish in there, it's going to wobble about on the central raised divider. Now you can of course place a dish happily across the crisper plates, just don't count on being able to use the extra depth that you get when the plates are removed. Size wise, the capacity of this air fry is 10.4 litres and the two halves of the drawer measure roughly 18.5 centimetres by 21.5 centimetres and the drawer without the divider is 37 centimetres by 21.5 centimetres. Ninja says you can fit a two kilogram chicken in one side or a two kilogram leg of lamb in the full drawer. I tried out a 1.8 kilogram chicken which as you can see fits into a single drawer easily and has loads of space when the divider is removed. Talking of which, that full drawer is what that mega zone you see printed on the front refers to. When you're programming your cooking settings, you can either choose zone one on the left, zone two on the right, or mega zone, which means the entire cooking area. So using this air fryer for a couple of weeks at home, I found there are lots of things I hadn't considered when I was looking at it online. For instance, if you want to only cook in one side of it, you still have to wash up the whole drawer. Of course, like all Ninja air fryers, the drawer is dishwasher proof, but it's massive and it takes up nearly a whole rack of my dishwasher. So I doubt I'd wash it up that way regularly. And of course, if you wash it by hand instead, it's bigger than the sink. So that's also less than straightforward. The other thing is shaking. Now I've grown quite accustomed to shaking my drawers midway through cooking and that wasn't meant to have a double meaning. But if you are, for instance, cooking salmon fillets in one side and potatoes in the other, you can't just shake the potatoes midway through. You either have to manually turn them with tongs or risk shaking the salmon fillets into a big messy heap. And talking of tongs, once the food is cooked, you can't easily tip the contents of one side out like you would if it was a single drawer. So you have to use the tongs again to lift stuff out of the drawer. So I get it that all of these things might not seem like a big deal, but it's a trade-off. Do you really need that extra space or do you just want an air fryer that's easy to use and easy to wash up? For me, I've got to be honest, I just think that this air fry is too big. I don't need my air fryer to cook enormous things. I need it to warm up leftovers or cook one child's meal so that they can get to a club on time. If I want to cook a leg of lamb, my oven is still there and frankly rather underused at the moment and I think that's exactly the kind of thing that it's actually worth turning it on for. But I know the flex drawer has passionate fans. Let me know if you are one of them in the comments and if you found this video helpful hit the like button and if you want to see more videos about UK appliances I am quite unique in this space in that I concentrate on the UK market. There aren't many of us so if you'd like to see more videos about this kind of stuff hit the subscribe and the notifications. Thanks for watching.